Hey, what's shaking, Turkey Bacon? It's your host with the toast, Doc Mind Bender, and this is Doc's Rants. Kid Cudi, let's talk! You know, normally I try to not talk about Kid Cudi because he was an old roommate of mine in 2005, 2006. As I've said before, um, you know, he did some corny tactics. I spoke about it briefly on one rant. But one of these days, I'll tell the full uncut story of my young and reckless days chilling with him and a bunch of others in this flop house that we had in Manhattan. Pusha T got an album titled It's Almost Dry, dropping soon. Cuddy confirmed that there will be a collaboration with Kanye West and King Push on that album. Now, Cuddy took to Twitter, as they all do, to say, and I quote, Hey, so I know some of you heard about the song I got with Push. I did this song a year ago when I was still cool with Kanye. Sounding like an olive branch. I don't know, nigga might be sitting by the phone waiting for Kanye phone call. Even though Kanye wrong in the situation, Cuddy is at his beckoning call like a faithful hound dog, I bet. Probably never ever did that man wrong. My opinion. But anyways, he went on to say, I am not cool with this man. He is not my friend, and I only cleared the song for Push because that's my guy. This is the last song you will ever hear me on with Kanye. That right there, my friends, is a lie. It's not a bold-faced lie. He ain't lying through his teeth. It's like he's telling an ignorant half-truth. It's not forcing a lie. Now, knock on wood, I hope Kid Cudi continues to live a long, fruitful life where he can live out his dreams tenfold. And wear dresses, pantyhose, all his wildest Hollywood weird ass fantasies. But if he was to die tomorrow, nigga, all them songs is dropping, I promise you. Kid Cudi would be a bigger artist than he could have ever imagined. It's crazy how that works, right? The game is so discombobulated, especially the rap game. If Cudi got locked up and did a year and a day, depending on what he went in for, he gonna come out and triple the revenue he had before the jump off. Like I said, I know the type of guy Cuddy is personally. He's so happy to be where he is, he's not out here burning bridges. I'm sure he has showed nothing but the utmost respect and reverence for Kanye West since they've known each other, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just speaking for his character, the nigga I knew before he did some lame shit. We had our differences back in the day, but I was raised right by some of the hood's most noble men and women. You stay in church and all that. I'm not out here holding no grudges, being biased when it come to him. But Cuddy, you can't say that's the last song we'll hear with the both of y'all. You can say that's the last song I'm recording with Kanye or on behalf of Kanye. But you were writing for Kanye. You was on that Kanye West slave plantation, pumping them out, pumping them reference tracks out. Even if you don't record with him no more, what's to stop him from releasing a joint that's all him but came from a reference track that you pieced up. That's when you see these guys mad. Oh, 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 he stole my music. He took my publishing. Ah, That's now his, bro. It belongs to him now. Kanye ignited the bridge, but you posting emotional shit on Twitter is just adding gasoline to the fire. But hey, I'm sure you set for life. You got your own fans, diehard fans at that. Your own family, your own life, your own work. You don't need Kanye to thrive out here. I'm sure severing ties with you and him has probably liberated you in a way. I rock with Pusha T. You know what I'm saying? I rock with Pusha T music hard body. Like, so I look forward to hearing the collaboration with y'all. I'm sure it's going to be different. You know, probably more different than anything we heard Pusha T on. You know, and I hope it's produced by Pharrell. That would be dope. But hey, be sure to subscribe. Bang on that notification bell. Hit that like button. And don't forget to jump in the comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.